we know that it's going to be a 3 by 3. So 4 plus 1 would give us 5. And that would be the first element in our answer matrix. Okay. So we used our first row with our first column. So now we're going to go to our second column and use our first row. All right. So 2 and 10 would be our first elements. So 2 times 10 gives us 20. Slide over and down. 1 times 6 is 6. So plus 6. 20 plus 6 would give us 26. All right. That's the second element in our answer matrix. So we use this row with that column, this row with our second column. Now we've got to use our first row with our third column. All right. So here we go. 2 times 8 would be 16. Slide over and down. 1 times negative 2 would be negative 2. Alright, so we get 16 plus negative 2 which would be 14. Alright, so we used this row with each column and we've got three elements in our matrix so far, in our answer. Okay, so we've used that row. We're done with that row because we used it with all the columns in the second matrix. Now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to use the second row with each column. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with 3 and 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Notice that now that we're finished with our first row, Okay. Our answers are going to go on the second row now because we're working with the second row. Okay, So 3 times 2 is 6. Slide over and down. Negative 2 times 1 would be negative 2. So plus negative 2. 6 plus negative 2 would be 4. All right. So we use our second row with our first column. Now let's use our second row with our second column. We're going to start with 3 times 10, which would be 30. Slide over and down. Negative 2 times 6. Negative 2 times 6 would be negative 12. All right. So we get 30 plus negative 12, or 30 minus 12, which would give us 18. Okay. So then we just use our second row and our second column. Now we've got to use our second row with our third column. So we get 3 times 8. 3 times 8 would be 24. Slide over and down. Negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4. So we get 24 plus 4, which is 28. All right. So now we've used this row with all three columns, which means we're done with that row. Okay. We use the first row with all three columns. We use the second row with all three columns, got the second row of answers. So now we've got to use our third and final row with all three columns to finish that, uh, finish out our answer matrix. So here we go. Five times two is ten. Slide over and down. Ten times one is ten. So ten plus ten would be Alright. So we use the first row now uh, the first column. Now let's use the second column. Right. Five times ten would be fifty. Slide over and down. Ten times six is sixty. So 50 plus 60, that would give us 110. OK. 
Okay. So we've got one final answer to uh, put in our answer matrix. So we're going to use the our row here and the last column. All right. Five times eight would give us forty. Slide over and down. Ten times negative two would give us negative twenty. So 40 plus negative 20 or 40 minus 20 would leave us with 20. All right? So this would be our answer matrix. All right? It's a 3 by 3. Okay? All right, so in order to add or subtract matrices, the matrices must have the same dimensions. Right? This was a 2 by 2, this was a 2 by 2. This was a 3 by 2, this was a 3 by 2. Right? Here, this was a 1 by 3 and this was a 1 by 2, so we could not add those together because they have to have to must have the same dimensions. Right? When we multiply matrices, the number of columns in our first matrix must be equal the same number of rows in our second matrix. Okay, so we write down our dimensions and look to see do the inside numbers match? Okay, they did here, so we know that we can multiply them. Our outside numbers tell us the dimensions of our answer matrix. Okay? See here our inside numbers did not match, so we couldn't multiply them. Here our inside numbers matched. The outside numbers told us the dimensions of our answer matrix. Okay? Now, in the examples that we've done, okay, we've only had two columns in our um, first matrix. See, this was a 3 by 2, this was a 2 by 2. Okay? Which meant, and when we did our scratch work, we only had two elements here to add together. Right? Two there, two there. If we were to have more, if we were to have more than just two rows, for instance, let's do this one last example just really quickly. Our first matrix is 1, 5, 3, and our second matrix is a 2, 8, 10, okay, vertically. Right. Our first matrix is a one, has one row, and it has one, two, three columns. Okay. Our second matrix <coughs> has one, two, three rows, and one column. So we check our inside numbers. Do they match? Yes, they do. Okay. This time we have three row, uh, three columns here in our first one, whereas we just had two earlier. Okay. We'll see how that's different in just a second. Our outside numbers are one and one, so that tells us that our answer matrix is going to be a one by one ma uh, answer matrix. Okay. Which means we're only going to have one element here. Okay. Here we ended up having nine elements. The reason? Three times three is nine. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three times three is nine. All right. So here we're only going to end up with one element in our matrix. So let's see how we would get that. We're going to still use our finger maneuver. Okay. Going this way. I'm going to start with one and two. One times two is two. One times two is two. I'm going to slide over and down. Five times eight is forty, so plus forty. Now, since we have three row, uh, three columns in our first um, first matrix, we're going to have another element to add. 
Okay, so I'm going to keep sliding over and down. 3 times 10 would be 30. So when I add those three numbers together, it will give me the only element that goes in my answer matrix. Okay? My one by one answer matrix. So we have 2 plus 40 plus 30, which would be 72. And this would be my answer matrix. Alright? So make sure you really concentrate and be meticulous about moving over with your left finger and down with your right finger. Okay? If you can do just that, it will help you a lot. Okay? So, we talked about what a matrix is. It's an arrangement of numbers or variables in rows and columns. Okay? The dimensions, we uh, label our dimensions rows by columns. Okay. Each number and variable in our matrix is called an element. We said that we could use a matrix, we could put points on a graph into a matrix. We talked about how to add and subtract matrices. They have to have the same dimensions. Then we talked about how to multiply matrices. Columns of A have to be equal to the rows of B. And we go to the right with our left finger and down with our right finger and add the, the elements after we multiply. Alright? Okay.